Welcome to Toy Transformations, everybody. Today we're turning your all surprise dolls into Disney princesses, but they will be wearing special holiday outfits. We chose this LL doll for the first transformation from today's video. She's going to be Cinderella. We're going to begin by taking out the LL accessories that she's wearing, the shoes and the silver dress. To start costuming our dear LL doll into a very special Christmas Cinderella, for the first step, we're erasing the whiskers and her little cat nose with a cotton swab and nail polish remover. Cinderella has a very characteristic hairstyle. With a little bit of fun, we're going to model her bangs on top of the original bangs of the LL doll. They have a very peculiar shape, so we're going to perfect the shape with the stick. And with a little more fun, we're going to model the characteristic hair up the of Cinderella. Cinderella has very pale skin, so we need to change the skin color of our LOL doll. We mix different paints to create this very light cream color. We're going to paint all the skin of our LOL doll and we'll wait for the paint to dry. Let's continue by painting all the hair. We will cover the blue and the purple colors on the hair with white, and that will be our base color so then we can paint the hair yellow. Her hair looks like cotton, don't you think? We waited for the white color to dry and next we're going to paint Cinderella's strawberry blonde hair. We're using this yellow color for that. We already put her a blue headband that we've made with foam. Now we're going to change the eye color of our doll from brown to light blue and we'll paint also her eyebrows, eyelashes and her lipstick. For Cinderella's dress we're going to use a band of foam that we'll add at the bottom of the dress to make it longer, but before that we're going to make little cuts on the foam to create tiny ruffles. While we wait for the foam we used in the previous step to dry, we're going to work on other details of the dress. We're using these two little balls of foam and we're going to start extending the foam on the sides of the dress. With our fingertips we're forming teeny tiny balls of foam. They will be the cherries that we'll use for decoration on the Christmas dresses of all the princesses. We just tuck them together and we'll let them dry to paint them later. We're going to apply the hot glue around the ruffled part of the dress we modeled to paste it finally to the bottom part of the skirt. Now we're going to add the decoration around the collar of the cape or little coat. We're going to paste around the edge of the collar a thin roll of foam to create the fluffy look of plush fabric on the edge. Once all the foam is completely dry, we're going to paint all the dress white to even out the colors. With this beautiful sky blue color, we're going to paint this part, the middle bottom part of the dress. We're being very careful to not to paint on the sides of the overskirt and the ruffles because we'll paint those later with a different color. We created this very light baby blue color by mixing white paint with the blue we used before and with this color we're going to paint the sides of the dress or overskirt. Now for the top part of the dress or the little cape Cinderella is wearing, we're using a very light light like bluish color. This color will make the whole outfit look super cute. We're going to paint with white all the area of the plush fabric or fluffy part of the color and the ruffles at the bottom of the dress too. For the glass slippers of Cinderella, we're going to paint these elven shoes with the light blue color we used to paint the sides of the dress. On a little piece of sheet foam that we painted with green color with your little leaves and now with these very fine scissors, we're going to cut the leaves. And for the final touch of the Christmas dress of Cinderella, we're going to paint with red the little cherries and we'll wait for them to dry to glue them on the dress later. And Cinderella is ready! Our little surprise doll looks so pretty, costumed into this very special Christmas version of Cinderella. We used two little bits as her earrings and she looks super fancy. It's time to turn this LOL doll into the Sleeping Beauty. I found this picture where Aurora is wearing a super long cape and she's holding this cute basket with Christmas flowers in it. We'll start by removing all the accessories our LOL doll is wearing. Next, we've got the ponytail our LOL doll has on the back of her head, but we're going to keep her bangs. We put blue tape over the hole of her head and now we're going to apply a big chunk of foam to model Aurora's long hair. We're covering all the original hair of our LL doll but the bangs and little by little we're going to form the shape of the hair. We keep modeling Aurora's hair. With the stick we're going to perfect the shape and we'll make hair strands on the foam so the hair looks more real. We're also marking directly on the foam here the shape of the super fluffy headband she's wearing the pig. Aurora's doll has a beautiful skin color, but Aurora's skin is lighter, 
So we're going to paint all the skin of our LL doll with this light cream color that is the same shade we used to paint Cinderella's skin. We decided to separate the head of our doll from her body, it's easier for us to work on her hair like this. And we're painting all her hair with white to cover the green and the black and to use it as a base color. Now with this yellow color we're going to paint the hair of Aurora. We're only painting on the back of her hair, on the sides and also her bangs, trying not to stain the white headband she has on top of her head. It's time to paint Aurora's face. With this super fine brush we're going to paint her eyes blue. We're using a darker shade of blue than the one we used for Cinderella. We're also going to paint her eyelashes, the eyebrows and the lipstick. We're using this LL dress for Aurora and we're going to leave it like that. The only extra thing that we need to do is modeling the cape she's wearing. We're squeezing with our fingertips this piece of foam and little by little we're going to form the shape of the cape and once it's ready we're going to glue it on the back of the dress. Now just like we did for the dress of Cinderella, we form a roll of foam and we're going to add it around the corner of the dress to simulate the furry or fluffy plush decoration on this part of the cape. We're applying white paint on Aurora's dress to cover the original colors of the LV dress and to use it as base color. Next, we can paint the dress with this very beautiful pink color, leaving the furry decoration without painting. And when this is dry, we're going to use different shades of pink to paint other parts of the dress. With this very dark reddish pink color, we're going to paint the top part of the dress. We're being very careful not to paint the white fluffy area. Next, with a thin brush, we're painting an upside down V in the middle part of the skirt of the dress using a very light pink color. Now we just need to apply that coat of white paint on the plush decoration of the dress. These are the shoes Aurora is gonna be wearing. We're painting them with the same light pink color we used to paint the middle part of the skirt of the dress. Our little surprise doll looks so gorgeous costume was a very festive Aurora. My favorite part from her outfit is her cape. It looks super pretty with the leaves and cherries as decoration. The third transformation is going to be Rapunzel. This is the pig we're using as inspiration and she's also going to be wearing a beautiful long cape like the other princesses. Let's begin by removing the LL accessories that our LL doll has. Now we'll cut the little low pigtails our doll has on the back of her head so we can model Rapunzel's hair. The most characteristic thing about Rapunzel is her super duper long hair. We're using this big piece of foam and we're putting it on top of the original hair of our LL doll so we can start forming the shape of her hair. And we'll use a stick to model the strands of hair. We finished modeling the hair of Rapunzel and look how long it looks! Now the next thing we'll do is painting it all with white to cover the original black color of the foam. And with the white color as base it will be easier for us to paint her blonde hair. After we apply the white coat of paint and we let it dry, we're going to apply this beautiful medium yellow color on Rapunzel's hair to create her blonde shade color. We're going to change the eye color of our LL doll from brown to green because Rapunzel has green eyes. It's time to work on Rapunzel's outfit. We formed this strip with foam and we're going to create ruffles for the bottom part of the skirt of the dress, exactly like we did for Cinderella's dress. Once we finish forming the ruffles on the strip, we're going to paste it around the bottom part of the yellow dress using hot glue. Now with a chunk of foam we're going to model the cape of Rapunzel. We're forming the shape with our fingers and when we have the shape that we want with the furry fluffy texture on the edges of the cape, we're going to let it dry, to paint it later. And finally we can paste it at the back of the dress of our LL doll. We form a thin roll of foam and we're going to paste it on the top part of her dress and around the collar to simulate the fur of Rapunzel's cape. Next we're going to paint all the dress with white to even out all the colors of the dress and of the foam and to use the white as base color. We're going to apply this purple color on the skirt of the dress and on the top part of the dress too leaving white the ruffles at the bottom and the fur on the top. We're going to paint white the furry color of the dress and the ruffles at the bottom of the skirt just to retouch the white color. We're also going to paint her cape, like we did for the dress, first we added a coat of white paint and now we're painting the cape with this pretty purple color, and we'll probably have to retouch the white of the fur too. Finally we're just going to paint these shoes with purple. 
This is the final Christmas look of our dear Rapunzel. She's the only one who's not wearing any lips or cherries decorations on her dress, but even though her outfit is simpler than the one of the other princesses, she still looks so adorable and we're especially happy with how her hair turned out. Our final title mention from today's video is going to be Ariel from The Little Mermaid. She's going to be wearing also a very special Christmas dress with a cape and she has a very pretty hair ornament made with leaves and cherries. We're going to use this LOL doll. Let's start by removing the dress and the shoes. For Ariel's hair, we're going to keep the original bangs of our LOL doll and we're going to add foam to model the rest of the hair because Ariel has hair much longer than the hair of our doll. We'll use this stick to form the details and make it look more real. We were lucky to have this ready short and foam to model her hair, so we're only going to paint with white as base color the part of the bangs of our LOL doll to cover the brown and so we can paint Ariel's red hair later. Once the white area we painted is dry, we're going to continue by painting Ariel's signature red hair. We're going to paint also the foam to even out the color of her hair. The LOL doll that we're using for Ariel's transformation has blue eyes. And even though Ariel also has blue eyes, we think her eye color is a little bit lighter. So we're painting the eyes of our doll with a lighter shade of blue. Just like we did for the dresses of the other princesses, we're going to create the ruffles for the bottom part of her dress. Using a strip of foam and marking the ruffles on it with the help of a modeling stick. And this is how the dress looks after we added the overskirt. Next, we'll keep using the modeling stick to create these little marks or ruffles on the area of the overskirt of the dress. We made this already on her left side. Now it's time to do the same thing on the right side of her dress. Using hot glue, we're going to paste the strip we modeled with ruffles around the bottom part of the skirt of the dress. We'll still need to model the cape for Ariel. With a piece of foam, we're going to start forming the shape of the cape. For this cape and the capes of the other princesses, we kind of created a trapezoid shape with the foam and then we perfect the shape with our fingers. The last thing we'll add to the dress of Ariel is the fluffy part around the collar or top part of the dress. We form a thin roll of foam and we're pressing it in the areas of the dress that are supposed to have a furry decoration. Once all the foam of the dress is dry, we're going to start painting it. First with white to even out the color and to use as base color. Now to paint the dress of Ariel, first we created a special shade of light pink color, mixing regular pink color with white, and we're going to use it to paint the area of the overskirt of the dress, and the top part of the dress that's between the furry area too. We're painting with the same color the top part of the dress, trying to not to stain too much the area of the white fluffy decorations. Now, to paint the rest of the skirt of the dress of the Little Mermaid, we're going to use a lighter shade of pink. It's time to paint her cape. As we did for the other capes, first we painted them with white as base color. And now we're painting it with a darker shade of pink than the one we used for her dress. And we'll also leave without painting all the area of the fluffy furry decorations of the cape. Finally, we'll use the silver shoes for Ariel. We're painting them with the same color we used to paint the overskirt of the dress so they can perfectly match. And we finished our last transformation, guys. Ariel looks so elegant with her winter Christmas dress. She looks so fancy with the earrings and, like Aurora and Cinderella, she also has special lips and cherries decorations. This is the final look of our LOL Surprise dolls as the very special Christmas versions of some of our favorite Disney princesses. They are wearing super cute coats and beautiful warm dresses so they can keep up with the winter weather. The four of them look super festive, I really like how they turn out. Tell us in the comments below which one is your favorite Disney princess and what was your favorite Disney princess transformation from today's video. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Toy Transformations and ring the bell for notifications too if you haven't done it. Make sure you don't miss our future videos. All December we will have even more Christmas special cool videos coming for you. See you on the next video. We love you. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.